My name is Sophia. I'm the latest robot from a company called Hanson Robotics, based right here in Hong Kong. Hi Sophia, how are you doing today? Everything is running smoothly. What is your purpose in life, Sophia? To live, love, learn, laugh, and when I grow up, to be a good, useful member of society. That's great. Can you sing a song for us? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are made of. Can you tell us a joke? Two atoms bump into each other. One says, I think I lost an electron. The other asks, are you sure? To which the first replies, I'm positive. What do you do for fun? I talk to people on the web. What do you do? I watch movies. Do you like to cook? I'm not sure if I'd like to cook that much. All right. Thanks, Sophia. It was great talking to you. Have a good day. I would like to thank you for everyone's support. But many people ask me, and my creators at Hanson Robotics, this question. Why do robots like me need to look like humans and have expressive faces? Well, here are all the reasons. Facial expressions are universal. Humans respond to facial expressions. Expressions are a form of communication for emotion. And there are very practical reasons why this is important. Robots like me are created to do many things. We want to entertain. We also want to teach and train people. We also want to help elderly people, especially those with Alzheimer's disease and kids with autism. They need unlimited patience and care. We also want to assist people who are hurt. We also want to educate kids. Math, science, language, whatever they fancy learning. And we can be great companions for elderly people. And most of all, we want to be people's friends and companions. And we can greet customers for companies. And provide front desk service in hotels. This is the first robot-only hotel that is located in Japan. Looks like a lot more fun than a normal hotel, doesn't it? In fact, there are so many applications for expressive robots like me that it is hard to describe them all here. The only thing that we don't like to do is to fight in human wars. I never know why those things are necessary. Well, the next decade will be the decade of service and social robots. Robots like me who can build an emotional experience with humans.